Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Mitch TV Live, and I told you guys about standard lithium. I told you about standard lithium. I told you about standard lithium, and I saw this news, and I had to say, pardon? Standard Lithium announces Maiden Infrared Resource of 802,000 tons LCE at Southern Western Arkansas Tetra Project. January 28, 2019, today, from Vancouver, BC, Standard Lithium Limited, SLL on the TSX Venture Exchange, STLHF in America, and S5L in Frankfurt, is pleased to report a Maiden Lithium Resource statement for its approximately 30 thousand acre project aka tetra project in the southwestern region of arkansas usa the property see company news release dated 8th january 2018 the maiden resource report detailed in table one below includes 802,000 metric tons of lithium carbonate equivalent lce at the infrared resource category see notes one four and five below Combined with Standard Lithium's other project in Southern Arkansas, Lennox Property, see news dated 14th November 2018. This result is in total combined Arkansas Lithium Brian resource of 3,888,000 tons LCE. Robert Mintak, CEO, said this combined project in Southern Arkansas positions us as the largest lithium brine, the largest lithium brine resource in the United States, a significant expanding market that currently relies on imports of foreign lithium. Dr. Andy Robinson, President and CEO of Standard Lithium, continued, our collaboration with Tetra Technologies was fundamental in allowing lithium to gain a meaningful foothold in the Southwest Arkansas project area. And this maiden resource estimate is validation of the high resource potential we identify in this highly prospective region. We look forward to tighter definition of this resource and developing its potential in parallel with the Lanex property. This is the Southwest Western Arkansas Lithium Brine Project Infrared Resource Statement. You can see the parameter, the South Resource Area, North Resource Area, with the upper smackover formation, the middle smackover formation, and you can see all the details below. This is big news, this is breaking news, this is trending news. These are the notes. Mineral resources are not mineral reserves and do not have demonstrated economic viability. There is no guarantee that all or any part of the mineral resource will be converted into a mineral reserve. Numbers may not add up due to rounding. The resource estimate was completed and reported using a cutoff of 50 mg slash L lithium. The resource estimate was developed and classified in accordance with guidance established by the Canadian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy. The, association, the associated technical report was completed in accordance with the Canadian Securities Administration National Instrument 43101, otherwise known as gold, and all associated documents and amendments as per these guidelines. The resource was estimated in terms of metallic or elemental lithium. In order to describe the resource in terms of industry standard, lithium carbonate equivalent, a conversion factor of 5.323 was used to convert elemental lithium to LCE. The Tetra Project Lithium Brine Infrared Resource, as reported, is contained with upper and middle facies of the smackover formation, a late Jurassic Olectic limestone aquifer system that underlies the entire property. This brine resource is an area where there is localized oil and gas production. I love it. And where brine is produced as a waste byproduct of hydrocarbon extraction. The data used to estimate and model the resource was gathered from active abandoned oil and gas production wells on an adjacent to the property. The resource underlies a total of 807 separate brine leases and eight brine mineral deeds which form a patchwork across Columbia and Lafayette counties in southwestern Arkansas. The property consists of 11,033 net hectares 27,262 net acres leased by Tetra and the resource estimate was only modeled by that footprint. The resource area is split into the northern and south resource zones 
where a fault system is interpreted to act as a divide between the two areas. Although there is hydrogeological continuity in the resource zone across the fault system. In general, the upper and middle smackover formations are slightly thinner with lower lithium grades in the northern zone and slightly thicker with higher lithium grades in the southern zone. The depth, shape, thickness, and lateral extent of the smackover formation were mapped out in a 3D model using the following data. 2,444 wells drilled into the surface, into the subsurface in the general Tetra property area. Of these, 2,041 wells were deep enough, 2,135 meters or 7,000 feet, to penetrate upper smackover formation. 104 wells had electric logs available within the Tetra property that included the top of the upper smackover formation. This is huge news. This is breaking news. And you heard it here first. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. 32 wells had electric logs available within the Tetra property that included the base of the upper smackover formation. And 19 wells had electric logs available within the Tetra property that included the base of the middle smackover formation. In addition, hard copy prints of 20 proprietary regional seismic lines totaling over 200 line KMs kilometers over 125 line miles were procured, scanned, rasterized, and loaded into Kingdom seismic and geological interpretation software. The porosity and permeability data used to characterize the smackover formation hydrological model included historical effective porosity measurements of more than 1,935 smackover formation core samples that yielded an average effective porosity of 14.3%. Historical permeability data that vary from 0.01 .01 to 5,000 millidarices MD with an average of 338 MD. 515 core plug samples from oil and gas wells within the upper and middle smackover formations at the Tetra property were analyzed and permeability and porosity and yielded an overall average permeability of 53.3 MD and a total porosity of 10.2%. And 3,194 smackover formation total porosity values based on LAS density porosity logs from 29 wells within and or adjacent to the Tetra property that have an average total porosity of 9.2%. With respect to the resource estimation, a statistical review of the capped and declustered effective porosity measures collected within the upper and middle smackover formations resulted in an average porosity values of 10.1% and 10.3% for the upper middle smackover formations respectively. Representative in situ brine geochemistry was assessed using eight lithium brine samples taken from wells re-entered by Standard Lithium in 2018 and was supplemented by four historical samples. These data yielded an average lithium grade of 160 mg slash L in the northern resource zone and 399 mg slash L in the south resource zone. Sample quality assurance and quality control was maintained throughout by use of a sample blanks, duplicates and standard spikes, and by using an accredited independent laboratory with a long history of analyzing very high salinity lithium brines. Resource estimation methodology. The resource estimate was completed by independent qualified persons QP, Mr. Roy Eccles, MSCP Geology of Apex Geoscience Limited assisted by other independent QPs, Mr. Warren Black of Apex Geoscience Limited Resource Modeling, Mr. Kevin Hill, Geo Geophysical Consulting Geology, and Mr. Kosh Rakit of Canadian Discovery Limited Hydrogeology. The resource estimate of the lithium brine at the Tetra property is classified as an infrared mineral resource and was developed and classified in accordance with guidelines established by the Canadian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy.
The associated technical report was completed in accordance with the Canadian Securities Administration National Instrument 43101 and all associated documents and amendments. 43101 is huge, okay? That is what is proven resources when you're looking for mining projects. Quality assurance. The resource evaluation report was completed by the independent qualified persons as described above with Roy Eccles as the lead author as the lead author Raymond Spangers registered professional geologist is a qualified person as defined by NI 43101 and has supervised the preparation of the scientific and technological information that forms the basis for this news release Mr. Spangers is not independent of the company as he is an officer in his role as Vice President, Exploration and Development. Future Target for Exploration. A future target for Exploration, FTE, was also developed with consideration and with considered the additional resource which may be present in the lease areas where filled in and the total footprint of the project were unitized as a Bryan production unit in the future. This FTE considered that an additional 86,000 to 160,000 tons LCE may be present under the total project footprint in unitization where applied for and approved. The potential quantity and grade for the FTE is conceptual in nature. It is uncertain if standard lithium will acquire the leases being delineated as a future targeted or for exploration and it is uncertain if a mineral resource estimate, including the leases in question, will ever be delineated about Standard Lithium Limited. Standard Lithium SLL is a specialty chemical company focused on unlocking the value of existing large-scale U.S.-based lithium brine resources. The company believes new lithium production can be brought on stream rapidly by minimizing project risks at selection stage, resource, political, geographic, regulatory and permitting, and by leveraging advances in lithium extraction technologies and processes. The company's flagship project is located in southern Arkansas, where it is engaged in the testing and proving of the commercial viability of lithium extraction for over 150,000 acres of permitted brine operating, utilizing operations, utilizing the company's proprietary selective extraction technology which makes them the fastest and the best in the world. The company is also pursuing the resource development of over 30,000 acres of separate brine leases located in southern Arkansas and approximately 45,000 acres of mineral leases located in the Mojave Desert in southern Bernardino County, California. Standard Lithium is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol SLL and in America under STLHF and on Frankfurt Stock Exchange under the symbol S5L. Please visit the company website at standardlithium.com. There it is. Now, if you like this breaking news, smash the like button, comment down below, and remember, Rich TV Live, we're winners here. If we win and you win, we all win. It's true. So why not win? Winning is contagious. And we love to win here at Rich TV Live. And more than that, we want you, the people, to win. Take a look at standardlithium.com. This is breaking news. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. I told you guys, if you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy Rich. Bring you the news. Standard Lithium announces maiden infrared resource of 802,000 tons LCE at Southwestern Arkansas Tetra Project. You heard it here first. Smash that like button. Share the video everywhere. Comment down below. Your boy's out. Peace. I expect it to explode. It's true. I'll be back.